what is up everybody and welcome back we are in the high 40s low 50s which means that it's finally t-shirt weather although because the garage doesn't get direct sunlight i'm probably still gonna wear a jacket when it starts to get a little bit chillier we do have a race coming up in only a couple of weeks and that does mean we need to start getting the car reassembled here uh, that means i'm gonna have to start putting things back in including that dashboard over there which I should be getting done in this video, but if not, we'll get that done in the video following or in another video. But yes, two weeks away, which also means, aside from spending 10 hours last week over multiple days clearing my driveway and unburying my trailer, I have to get my trailer ready to pull a car. And although half of the car is already in here, it's not the half of the car that needs to be in here. So one thing I need to get done this week is I need to clear out this trailer, move the interior parts into my house, find new homes for the tires, which they're junk tires anyway, they were just storage in here for the winter. I'm going to go ahead and spare you guys the details of getting rid of all the stuff in the trailer. You guys don't need to see me do an organization of my house, but because I'm in here right now, it's unburied, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that panel down there at the floor. This is something that should be pretty simple, I'll just grab a screwdriver and do it, but there is a screw out here on this pad, so I need to get that screwed back in. Right, I hope it's not stripped, that's the only thing that it could possibly be that would be a problem. Super simple, no big deal. Um, I also went ahead and took off one of the door latches on there because it was also just a Phillips head screw. But that's more or less going to cut it here. Like I said, I just got to empty out the trailer in preparation for the week. Or for the weekend that we've got coming up. But, for now, we're going to go ahead and move on getting the car worked on. So I put on a jacket and closed the garage door. It actually was coming up to be a storm, so that's kind of why I had to. Um, plus the garage stays warmer than the outside anyway, despite it finally warming up. The plan today is we are gonna go ahead and reinstall the crossbar, as well as get the steering wheel call or the steering column back up and tidy some things up in here. And I do wanna get the dashboard in, but I don't know if I'll have time to do it in this video. There are a few things that do need to get done real quick though that I didn't get tidied up. I've got these wires down here that are for the airbags and the seats and everything. Those need to get out of the way. They were tucked under the front carpet, but now they can't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them routed out of the way. And then since I have decided I'm not gonna go ahead and put in the window switches, I gotta get these window switch uh, plugs just out of the way of the shifter. So we're gonna quickly go ahead and get those out of the way, and then we'll look at getting the crossbar back in. Now with the beautification out of the way, I found the bag that says crossbar, and these are all the bolts. Um, there's six in here. I only remember where five of them go, but I feel like it's gonna be pretty straightforward once I get in there and it'll tell me where the last one goes. Um, but we need to get the crossbar back in. Then we need to mount the fuse box back to it and the steering column. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Last but not least, the fuse box. After getting everything installed and tightening it all down, I made a realization. The fuse box here 
It's just hanging there right now, but you may be able to see this rail running along the back here that's attached to it. The fuse box is supposed to drop in through this hole um, while I install it. So I can't necessarily install the fuse box right now because this is all in the way. I'll spare you the nitty gritty, but my genius self has to pull this bar back out and put it back in the correct way. And with the power of editing magic, it's almost like I didn't screw up in the first place. Moving on. I have this other bag here that I found that says steering column, which means our next step here is to get the steering column mounted back up to the crossbar. Now with a quick note with the steering column here, I've got a handful of wires. Um, this one is for the lights, so that needs to go back over there and attached to it is one of the airbag plugs. Then I have these two plugs right here, which are for the uh, gauge cluster. And then lastly, I have this plug hanging back here, maybe you can see it a little bit, um, that goes into a clip right there on here that I took off while I had this down. So I just need to slide that back into there. Okay, now we can worry about getting this mounted up. Just like that, this car is starting to come together. Now while I was getting this mounted up, I saw this plug back here. And I for some reason completely forgot what that plug was, and then I realized it was for the gas pedal. With that being said though, we should probably get that gas pedal installed. We just need to find, got tons of car parts everywhere, the, ah, there it is. It's broken. That's right. I I broke it taking it out. This calls for a quick trip to the junkyard. I just made it to the junkyard, but very unfortunately, as I was winding up to the junkyard, a guy drifted out of his lane and hit my mirror with his mirror. Um, and luckily it didn't crack my mirror. The glass popped out and I was able to pop it back in, but this is what we're here for. May not be an M3, but That shift pedal should still work for me. Got it out in one piece, thankfully. Disgusting, but it's better than the broken ones. This is the gas pedal uh, mount that I got, but I also, and this is the thing I kind of teased at, this is the solution that I decided to come up with for my door handles. So I pulled these out of a junkyard coupe because the coupes use the same door handles as each other and the sedans have a different door handle design. But I pulled these out of a coop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them down, kind of like how this one's broken here. I'm going to cut them down so it's just the door handle frame here, and then I'm just going to screw it in on that one point right there, and then it will clip in, and this will work. But most importantly right now, gas pedal. Now this replacement is super cheap, so breaking them is not really that big of a deal, but hopefully I can make this work for me. Bam, gas pedal reinstalled. One thing I'm noticing already is that it slips a little bit here. I think that's because the carpet's not there, so there's no friction to hold it into place. This thing wasn't designed to be mounted just like this. It needs to be recessed a little bit. So, in the future I'll have to find a solution for that. Although, new pedals in this car, something's already on the list. 
And I figured while I was down here, I might as well get the hood release handle reattached because I'm still going to need to be able to take or open the hood. And I don't have any hood pins or an aftermarket hood yet. We're gonna move on to the handles. And what I need to do is I need to cut them so that they're just the handle shape. Unfortunately, I don't own a Dremel. How lucky am I? I'm gonna need to cut these down and then I'm gonna sand them so there's no sharp edges. And that is what is going to be the door handle. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach them. So, montage time. That was quick. Well, that just about does it for today. We've got the car halfway ready to being done um, for the car or for the race that we have coming up. You guys may have seen the last thing that I did do, the thing I was kind of getting done, was mounting up the door handles. As you can see, I did not screw them into place. And the reason I didn't do that is because there's just this thin thing here that I'm afraid might get broken if too much force is applied one way or the other on it. So I'm thinking I'll have to 3D print a solution to make that better. I'm not going to do it before the next race, but I've hung them down because when I put in the glove or the dashboard and the seat, I don't want to knock the handles and break them. So while I'm moving large things in and out of the vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and just leave them down. And then once all the big things are installed and I don't have to worry about knocking them, I'll go ahead and mount them up officially. That just about covers everything though that I have planned for today. I did want to get the dashboard done today, but I just don't have the time, unfortunately, and this video has to go out on the Thursday that it's scheduled, so I'm gonna have to get that done in the next video, which kind of makes sense because how I'm gonna mount these things up is gonna be, you know, a little bit too long for this video if I were to get the dashboard mounted. So I'm just gonna do all this with the dashboard all in one go, as well as get the seat in, but I'm still waiting on that tool to fix the issue that I had. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing or maybe leaving a like down below. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next video.